orca are the largest of the dolphins. And like all dolphins, they have a lot of distinct parts of their day. So sometimes they'll be traveling, sometimes they'll be feeding, and sometimes they'll just be playing, playing like now. Unbelievable. That's incredible. This is called breaching. It's supposed to actually remove parasites from the skins of the, the orca. But when you look at something like that, you've got to say they are just playing. I mean, if you could do that, you would, wouldn't you? Orca need to spend a good deal of their day interacting with the others in their group. They have such big brains that really they just need time to get to know each other and just to muck around. This has already been just about the most exciting two minutes of my life. Look at that, they are magnificent. And I don't want to chase them. It's very important that I don't go into their space. I let them come into mine. But they don't seem to be bothered by us. Oh, my goodness! It just breached right in front of me. Wow, look at that. This is the wildlife spectacle of this part of the world. Rarely for my crew, they're almost speechless, apart from Johnny on the main camera. It's amazing, man. It really is. They're very close to him. How close are they? 10, 15 metres, something like that. Should he be scared at this point? Yeah. Steve? No. Every one of these orca could weigh as much as a small truck, but they're incredibly manoeuvrable, very, very fast. Killer whales are probably the fastest mammal in the seas, and certainly for long distances, they can travel enormous distances in a day. I don't believe what I'm seeing here. Look at this. They're just coming together right in front of me. They call orca the wolves of the sea, not just because of their incredible teeth, but also because they hunt cooperatively together in groups. And I think that's what's happening around me now, look. I think now I've probably got about 15 animals, all very, very close. It's not just adults here. There are plenty of young calves in amongst them. Oh, it frightens the life out of you when they come to the surface like that. It's like an explosion of air and water out of their blowhole. He's coming right underneath me. I can see him. He's right underneath my boat. That's, he's about three meters away from me. He's just looking up at me. He's just turned on his side. I just looked straight in my eye. Wow, he just, he just popped up right alongside me. I think they just really want to find out what this strange plastic yellow boat in their world is. I'm seeing firsthand how intelligent they are, but let's not forget that's what makes them deadly. 